Yeah, shalom, shalom. First and foremost, for the doubt this lesson, given no honor, no glory, no praise due to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Kakadash. The Bible is a great master, other apostles will teach you well. Peace, salutations to the whole foot, like the scattered abroad across the four winds of this planet, that's enduring all things as soldiers of Mashiach, Yahweh Shai. And a shalom to the sincere Akim that's out there pushing his word across the four winds of this planet, that's enduring all things as soldiers of Mashiach, Yahweh Shai as well. Then a shalom to the sincere Akwathium that's out there resting her husband being a pillar of rest, keep doing so to those that may be. Okay. Yahweh as it being the heavenly father, which the word ignorantly calls Yah uh, calls God and Yahweh yeah, Bahashim meaning in the name of Yahweh Shai meaning in the name uh, Yahweh Shai meaning the uh, meaning his name means he is deliver the deliverer and which in the world ignorantly calls him Jesus Christ, okay? And the Rokakadash as it being the Holy Spirit, okay? The title of this lesson is Saints Shall Take Take the Kingdom, okay? And uh, the reason why I'm doing this lesson, you know, just for, you know, to, to put the remembrance, of the remembrance out here in Israel, you know, amongst the brotherhood, you know, to you brothers out there, just remember, hey, man, the saints, which are the Israelites, hey, man, we're going to be taking the, we're going to take the kingdom via through Yahweh Hashem Shai, you know, when Yahweh sends his only begotten son back, okay? <clears throat> so... You brothers need to understand that, hey, we are going to take this kingdom. We're not going to uh, ask for it. You know, quite sure brothers already know that. But at the same time, you know, just revisit these things, you know, because, hey, at the end of the day, you know, this kingdom is on its way out. Okay, so let's go ahead and kick it off with the first verse. Okay, let's get the book of Matthew, chapter 5 and verse 4. And the reason it says... Uh, we'll start in verse 3, and it says, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are they with that mourn, for they shall be comforted. Blessed are the meek of the meek. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Right. So, amen. Blessed are the poor. You know, who are the poor right now? You know, the, the Israelites, man. Okay. Because at the end of the day, who, who's, going, who's going to get the kingdom of heaven? The Israelites are. Okay. Blessed are they that mourn, for they shall be comforted, right? Those that are mourning right now, those that are at a lowly state, you know? And it says, blessed are the meek, you know? What are the meek? Basically, lowly, humble, you know? Those are the meek of the earth, you know? And they shall inherit the earth, okay? So the meek of the earth is going to inherit the earth, basically, the, 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 us, the Israelites, man, okay? We are going to inherit the earth, okay? We are going to inherit a, uh, eternal glory, okay? Thus saith the scriptures, man. Thus saith the Lord, man. Okay? Because at the end of the day, those that got it now, hey, they eat, they, they eating the fruits of their constellation as of right now. Okay? All right? So, hey, man, just know, hey, blessed are the meek of the earth, for they shall inherit the earth. Okay? We going to inherit the earth. Lord willing, we be of the elect. Okay? Because the saints are going to take the kingdom by force underneath Yahweh Shai. Okay? Now, let's go ahead and get the book of... Obadiah chapter 1 and verse 18 through 21. <clears throat> and the reason it says, and it says, and the house of Jacob shall be a fire, and the house of Joseph a flame, and the house of Esau a stubble, and they shall kindle in them and devour them, and there shall not be any remainder of the house of Esau, for Yahweh has spoken it. Right, man. So, hey, just know in the coming days, you know, that, hey, the Lord is going to put the spirit on Israel, <coughs> you know, to take the kingdom and ultimately in the kingdom. And, hey, Esau is going to be left for stubble, man. OK, because, hey, the Lord is going to put his anger within us, man. OK, to 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 recompense all the evil that has been done to Israel upon these Edomites, man. OK, because they rightfully deserve it. OK, so, hey, just know. We, we we are going to, you know, dwell in peace sooner or later, man. Okay? The verse 17 is a good one. It says, but upon Mount Zion, talking about Israel, shall be deliverance, and there shall be a holiness, and the house of Jacob shall possess their possessions. Okay? Basically talking about, you know, the heathens, you know, how we going to be possessing their possessions, okay? And we going to have them under possession, okay? We going to have them under our authority, under our, they going to be under 
under our foots, man. We're going to have them by their necks, okay? But ultimately, the only heathen that's going to be uh, ridden out the whole earth is the uh, is the Edomites, man, okay? <coughs> you know, because they, they, they depleted earth, you know, destroyed everything, okay? Verse 19, it says, And they of the south shall possess the mount, possess mount of Esau, and they and they of the plain of the Philistines, and they shall possess the fields of Ephraim and the fields of Samaria, and Benjamin shall possess the Galeed, and the captivity of this host of the children of Israel shall possess that the that of the Canaanites unto the Zerophath, and the captivity of Jerusalem, which is in Sepharad, shall possess the cities of the south. The Savior shall come up on up on Mount Zion to judge the mount Mount of Esau, and the kingdom shall be your house. Right. So those saviors are talking about the one forty four K. Okay. Restoring the planet back to this rightful youth, okay, alongside Yahweh Shai, okay, to judge the Mount of Esau, okay, what is the Mount of Esau, you know, this devil's government, okay, being brought down, okay, because, hey, this devil's mountain has been clipped, okay, because as Yahweh Shai said, if ye have a faith of a mustard seed, ye should tell this mountain to move yonder, okay, and, and this devil is moved, man, okay. We we moved this devil so soon as we gonna go to judge this mount. Okay, we gonna go to judge this mountain. Okay, all right. Um, let's go ahead and get the book of Luke, chapter ten, and verse nineteen. Salakia. Book of Luke, chapter ten, and verse nineteen. And the reason it says. <clears throat> Behold, I give you, behold, I give unto you power to tread on serpents and scorpions and all over all the power of the enemy and nothing shall by any means hurt you. Right. You know, going into the spiritual powers that the Lord is going to bestow upon his men in these days, in these last days to come. OK, to give us the power to tread upon serpents. Who is this servant? You know, Esau, Edom. OK, because it's good to say a hey, the, 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 the dragon is wrath, wrath. Okay, he should come down with great wrath. Okay, so hey, we're gonna be able to have the power to tread upon the serpent, which a dragon is considered a serpent. Okay, you know, and the scorpions, and all, and over the power of the enemy, and nothing shall by any means hurt you. You know, as the scriptures say, you know, no weapon shall prosper against thee. You know, so no matter what this devil throws at us, hey, the Lord is gonna give us the spirit to be able to handle such things. Okay, but the main point is, man, the Lord is going to give us power to be able to take these devils down out of power via being under Yahweh Shai, because Yahweh Shai is going to lead the charge. Okay, because the scriptures say, you know, as Yahweh Shai said, wait upon me to rise up to the prey. Okay, so hey, we got to wait upon the Lord at the end of the day, you know, but at the same time, we do understand what the Lord has promised us. Okay. The Lord has promises that he's going to give us power over the heathen, give us power to take down the heathen, okay? Because you go into the book of Revelation. Go ahead and get this, book of Revelation, chapter 3, in verse, um, I think it's 2, the last verses, 2, in verse 26 to 27. And the reason it says, And he that overcometh and keepeth my works unto the end, to him will I give power over the nations, Right? The Lord is going to give us the power over these nations to have author authoritative over these nations, man, to be in rulership over these damn nations, okay? All right, because, hey, these nations are really nothing. They like a drop of the bucket, okay? So, hey, that's, that's the whole point. And, you know, hey, the saints are going to take the kingdom via by force, okay, and possess the heathen, okay? Verse 27, and he shall rule them with a rod of iron, a rod of iron, as the vessels of the potter's shod, they be broken to shivers, even as I receive of my father. Right, and the brothers bring this out all the time, you know. Hey, Yahweh Shai, joint, we are joint heirs into Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Shai has authority, authority, rulership, all that stuff. And hey, we are joint heirs into Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Shai to, to get these same things. Okay, so we got to understand that, hey, this is a promise that is given unto us. So we must got to be in the mindset of, uh, hey, the Lord, Yahweh Shem Yashah, said he's going to give us the power over the heathen to break them down, man, to put them under subjection under us to follow the law, statute, commandments. 
okay, to do what's righteous, okay, all right, let's get one more precept and we're signing off, Lord, it's willing this short little lesson is edifying to those in the watch, look at Daniel chapter 7 and verse 18, and the reason it says, <clears throat> but the saints of the Most High, Yahweh, shall take the kingdom and possess the kingdom forever, even forever and ever. And that's talking about infinity and beyond, man. Okay? Because that's, that's that's what's coming for the Israelites, man. The promises that was given up to us. Okay? The new promises. Okay? The new covenant. Okay? The law, statute, and commandments be written upon us, written within us. Okay? Because at the end of the day, man, this is what's going to come. This is going to come to pass at the end of the day. We are going to be made fully righteous, man. Okay? So, with that, man, I pray and hope this lesson is edifying, giving our honor and our glory and our praise to due to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Kakadash. Till next time, till next video, Shalom, Kumashrala, Badabah.